atmosphere in the grounds up and down the land. Everything ready for the kickoff. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Jack Butland starts in goal. Andre Gomez starts with Alex Iwobi on the flanks. And they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. Corner swung in. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. It's good play to get a foot in and intercept. A chance to break away now on the counter. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Let's hear from Alan McAnally about a goal in the West Ham match. It's a goal for West Ham United. Six minutes played, 1-0. Going to try one now. Oh, they open the scoring here. It's a good start. It's a fine start, really. Some might say you'd prefer to score from 25 yards, but I wouldn't go along with that. This is all about instinct. Let's see the replay now. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. Middlesbrough then with the lead. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Intercepted well. Tries the shot. No way through for the shot. Blocked. Andre Gomez. And he's gone and won the ball with a very good tackle. Middlesbrough doing well and playing above perhaps their level. They're maybe punching above their weight. The league table looking good for them. Well, we're past the halfway mark, so you can't say that it's been luck. They're deservedly top of the pile. It's about holding the nerve perhaps now for this team. Probing with the pass. Here's a chance. Well, that could be the insurance goal here. That little bit of daylight that they were after. Clean pair of heels to the opposition and a very clean finish at the end of it. Well, they could only stop and stare because he's one of the quickest players around. One of the best finishers, too. Restarting at 2-0. Well, let's get an update from West Bromwich Albion and their match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Aston Villa. 22 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. It won't be. Sloppy work, really. And he could get away here. In with a chance. Well, the reward is a goal for winning the ball high up the pitch. Well, we could see it coming, I think. I think even the team that's just conceded could see it coming because they kept on losing the ball in dangerous areas there. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. It's not a good cross, and it's gone out for a goal kick. To Andre Gomez. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay onside. 
Saved by the keeper. He's definitely got his goal touch with him today, hasn't he? The first was a decent one. Here's the second. There's still time for more to come. Oh, that's good anticipation. He expected the keeper to parry that, and that's exactly what happened. So off they go again, trying to make some sort of mark in a game that they're being dominated in. Goal news for you from Burnley, from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Burnley. It's been scored by Ashley Barnes. An awful back pass put him in the clear and he easily beat the keeper. 34 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. That's the shoot. It won't be. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Going forward with real purpose now. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Taking on the defenders. Now, what's the referee going to do here? He's off. No, I don't think anybody, even the player involved, can argue with that. Have a look at it, Alan. Yeah, I think so. And it was a poor tackle. It was badly timed. Well, the keeper knows. He knows he's got a shot to face here. And the goalkeeper read the direction well. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. And now we've reached half time. Everything. You don't often get a first half as one-sided as this one. They've been very good, the team that are leading, of course. He's got some room out there. The referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. Well, is he going to shoot? Is he going to dink one in towards his teammates? Free kick on target, but not really troubling the goalkeeper. Coming up for you on EA Sports, don't forget, don't miss this, the coverage of the Premier League fixture, Middlesbrough, and they'll be hosting Burnley. Probing the pass, pushed back out into play. Well, they've got some really clever technicians in this side, and we've seen that in the way that they've created this number of chances today. No wonder they're winning comfortably. Andre Gomez. Huddersfield Town, their next game. Alan, what about that? They're playing Watford in their next match. So much at stake, and I think it will be tense and tight. Has a go here. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Patrick, goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. What a day he's having. Three goals now. He's been a thorn in the side of the opposition all match and he thoroughly deserves that hat-trick. It's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline really as we're underway again. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Over now to Alan McAnally who's at Vicarage Road with a goal to tell us about. It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 62 minutes played, 1-1. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. 
They are the league leaders, Alan, and they're playing like league leaders. Yeah, they are. They've got the, that swagger about them, haven't they, Martin? Um, produced some majestic stuff today. They've gone wide, chance to get the ball in the box. He's intercepted at just the right time for his team. Taken it well under pressure. It will be. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack of the chase. What a chance to get through and score, and he's been fouled. He has produced the red card. Straight away, you knew he'd made up his mind, went for the pocket, no arguments. And the away team want to make a change. And the goal. Goalkeeper read the direction well. Goal news in the Wolves game from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 73 minutes played, 3-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Well, look at the room in which to attack. He could cross it from here. Oh, it's too strong, the cross. It's gone over everyone in the middle. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Gone towards the first post here. That was catching practice for the goalkeeper. The referee has blown and he's given the free kick. And the manager, Alan, is making this change here. Substitution will take place. Pleasure to be here to see it, Mark. Looking for goal now. The referee's given them a free kick in a real position of some danger to the opposition yeah, yeah. oh he fancies this he's a single-minded lad he's gonna go for goal he's got there and turn it over the bar yeah, yeah. that will be a corner Diakabi it's a good hit Jack Butland's the goalkeeper with a simple stop Alan McAnally is at Turf Moor today. News of a goal, Alan. It's a second goal for Liverpool. Five minutes remaining. This could be it. It must be. Well, with the extra man, it doesn't always lead to chances like this and a goal like this, but it has today. Yeah, they've used the full width of the pitch. They've switched play when uh, it mattered. Have made that advantage count. A very comfortable margin for victory can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. And still a chance for something to happen because there's lovely incisive pass. And he shoots. Well, now the team that has lost a man has lost this goal. So often you see the team down to ten men just mount a rear guard action and make things difficult but they haven't been able to do that here there's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game there's nothing false about it they've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead it's all over and there is the final whistle what a brilliant performance